Today we're talking about how to find the difference between two dates in Excel. Um, if you just need to know the number of days between two dates, it, it's pretty easy. You can see here I've got I've got two dates over here in columns A and B. So all we have to do is say equals and point to one cell and minus point to the other one, hit enter, and you've got your answer 29 days. So I'm showing you the formula over there. Now that that's pretty simple. A lot of times that's all you want, but uh, if I copy this down and we get to dates that are farther apart, you know, 5,508 days isn't really very meaningful to most people. It may be what you need in a formula, but if you're wanting, um, you know, a, a number that that people are going to look at, not just used in a formula, that isn't always real helpful. So there's another function. It's called date diff, and it's not one of the normal Excel functions in that you will not find it using the function wizard. Um, according to Microsoft's website, it's only there for compatibility with Lotus 1.2.3, but it works, so you might as well take advantage of it. And the nice thing is, it will let you find the difference in uh, months or years or uh, a couple other uh, more unusual options. So you can see here that the way it works, it's date diff, and then you've got three arguments your start date, your end date, and then what they call the unit. So your unit is days, months, years, or these others, which we'll get to in just a minute. So you can see over here, we've got date diff, A6 with our start date, B6 is our end date, and then D for days, and the D has to be in quotation marks. And that gives you, in this case, 1,874. If you do the same thing with M for months, you get 61 months. And here, with Y, you get 5. And one thing to uh, keep in mind is that it only counts complete years. So you can see that's actually a little bit more than 5 years. But it uh, it cuts it off at 5 years. It does not uh, won't show you any partial years, even if you extend your decimals out. Then we've got three more options. You can use MD, which gives you the number of days, ignoring the months and year. So you can see here the answer is 17, so that's the difference between 1 and 18. And then you've also got an option for YM. Uh, that gives you the number of months, ignoring the years, and you can ignore my typo that I just noticed over there too. And so it's one month from January to February, even though these dates are five years apart. And then the last one is YD gives you the number of days ignoring the years. So from the 1st of January to the 18th of February is 48 days. So I'm not entirely sure why or when you would want to use these last three, but somebody must have wanted to do it because they put them there. Um, so I'm sure someone asked for them. But anyway, date diff um, can give you, you know, more more flexibility than just subtracting one date from the other. So just remember it's date diff, and then the start date, comma, end date, comma, and your unit, which will be a letter or two letters in quotation marks.